So this is how it's going to look when you do the uh, partial, right? So if you see here, um, you could see the breakdown here. So the 179 deduction is 5,000 up front, and the remaining 5,000 will be spread over five years. So 5,000 by five is 1,000. So this year I write off 6,000, and then the next years uh, I'll just write off 1,000 each year, right? So you could really play around with this. Um, to see what works best for you for me right now because I'm not a real estate professional and I'm having a lot of losses on my real estate I usually do this option so it spreads over like you know 2,000 every year but if let's say you're a real estate professional and you want to offset your active W-2 income so let's just say I get married um, and my wife qualifies as a real estate professional and I want to offset my high income W-2 I would click this option here so overall it's, you can see it's pretty um, user friendly so let me just spread this over um, several years to, to show you what it looks like so you know, once again, you know, divide by five. Then you hit continue. <clears throat> so you see it summarizes it for you, right? So you are just off the structure, you're depreciating about seventeen thousand, and then off of your kitchen remodel, it's two thousand. So in a year, you get nineteen thousand dollars, right? So <clears throat> got value from this video um, to see what it's like to do your own taxes on on TurboTax. It, it's not that difficult. Um, once you get the hang of it, there are um, forms that can help you. Uh, and, but for me, I learn every time I use it. To be honest, but you know, based on what I know, it's I'm learning a lot from TurboTax. Like, um, I feel like I know a decent amount after doing it for eight years. You know, I know people are really big on like, oh, you got to hire a CPA um, to do it for you. But <clears throat> honestly, CPAs, they're just going to ask for all your information anyways, and then they may help you strategize. So for me, if I want to get a CPA involved, I'd rather do the manual labor of punching these numbers myself. And at the end, when I'm done getting my finalized uh, tax forms and then running that through a CPA, right? But for me, I've had um, pretty good success so far doing it myself. I know there's a lot of like common questions, um, big ones of depreciation, but and then navigating the LLCs. But once you do it one time, one year, uh, it saves, it pulls the information for the next year, right? So like last year, I did a lot of this and it was a learning curve for me. But this year, I'm doing it; it's a lot easier. Um, so it gets easier and easier over time. Um, so not sponsored by TurboTax, but I've been using them not yet, maybe. Uh, I've been using them for like eight years. Um, and let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to show you how to do something on TurboTax and I'm happy to show that if I've done it before. Um, if it's something new to me, then maybe I might not be the best person for that. But please share this video with somebody who will benefit from this. And let me know if you have any comments or questions down below. Uh, happy to uh, show this. I'm also going to sell my mobile home park. I sold my mobile home park in 2023, so it will be the first time for me um, selling, a mo selling an asset. And I want to see how that impacts me on a tax basis because I have depreciation. Um, that I've been writing off. So when you sell it, it's going to drop down as active income. And then also like, I'm going to document, you know, because I'm, I'm doing a seller carry second note on this property too. So I'm seeing how that will affect my tax implications. So I'm going to be documenting that journey as well. So hopefully you'll find value from this video. Look forward to the next video and I hope you see the next one. And please remember to subscribe and to share this video to somebody who would benefit from this. All right. Thank you so much for hopping in. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.